And do we know anything about what James Gray and his family's life was like in the colonies? And they were probably farmers, um, and they were probably new settlers, because that's a newly settled part of the world. Right. Mm. Uh, the settlement they were in was probably less than 10 years old. So they've already had the hard experience of turning forest into a, a farm mm -hmm. uh, with just hand tools, axes and saws, mm -hmm. and maybe the help of some oxen. And while they're in the midst of that hard struggle, a war has broken out, and a war that demands people to make very difficult political decisions mm -hmm. that will have lasting consequences for everybody. And that's a very hard thing. Most people just want to stay on their farms and tend mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. But the British Army would come to a disaster in the fall of 1777 at a place called Saratoga in New York, and the British Army would have to surrender. This is disastrous for mm. people like the Greys. Right. who uh, have probably come out and, and shown support for the Crown Center. Right. This is a document um, from a year later. So this is the return of loyalists receiving provisions. On page two, we'll actually find the family. So there's Mrs. Gray. So then this says boys, two? Two. Okay. If a man's present, there's this very definite one. Right. These double lines. This is an indication that there's no man. Mm. So Mr. Gray's not there. Do we know what happened to James? Well, we're going to see in the next page. So under remarks, right. Peller's, Peller's corpse as private. It's Peter's corps. Your five times great grandfather, James Gray, has enlisted as a loyalist soldier in the Crown forces. So he must be getting really worried now about right. his safety, his family's safety. Yes. Yes, St. John is near the, the front lines of the fighting, okay. a dangerous place. Wow, they were separated during this difficult time. I just didn't imagine them to be homeless. Well, I think the best thing to do would be if we could go to the site of one of these former refugee camps. Is there still a setting in St. John's of one of these camps? St. John's is where we're gonna go. Oh my God, it's incredible. Wow. Mm. For the Greys, the political choice they had to make sounds incredibly difficult feeling ostracized from their neighbors and being separated as a family, having to move, not knowing what's going to meet you on the other side. I didn't realize, you know, just how difficult it was. This all happened so close to where we grew up.